Darren Moore's talking about his recruitment for next season. So there was a little bit of controversy about whether Darren Moore was going to be staying on next season. Some fans were saying it, what, what's going on with his contract, all of that. It looks like he's already started to plan for transfers for either scenario. It's looking like he's yeah. even planning for League One in terms of recruitment. So what do you think that means for the club? I think it's good to see that we're already starting to think that way. Even though we've halted contract talks with a lot of players, and I understand that because they don't want to put something to a player who could be on high earners if we don't know what league we're going to be in. Kind of yeah. thing. That makes sense. But the fact that more been given that kind of thing to go, right, this is what we're going to do. But I'll talk about one of the ones, if it's still in here later, about Pelopeti, if it's there. No, I've uh, removed it. Right. We've talked about Pelopeti well, enough well, to talk about I'll it just now. say slightly. More sounds like he wants to keep Pelopeti and Chancery doesn't. So it would mm-hmm. be interesting, but the fact that we're already on that kind of thinking, and this is league, the thing, is good. right? This is going to tear the fan base, and I'm going to get some stick for this. A lot of people that say Pelopessi's crap slate Chancery, right, and say Chancery is bad for the club. So, do you agree with Darren Moore that Pelopessi's a good player now? Or do you agree with Chancery, the man that you despise Ooh. so much, that Pelopessi should be off? Because for me, well, this Pelopessi is just turning into get... a good breakout. Yeah, Pelopessi should definitely get another deal. What do What do you think? Like to, today, yes, I understand. I've got. Uh, we were talking in the chat. He can become a bit of a passenger in certain games, but that's only when the whole team's underperforming. Yeah, right. For me, Diggs passes out. He's a good breakup midfielder. He, He's, Personally, he's a, he's a good he could have gone at the end of last season, yeah, kind of thing, and he didn't. And I think he didn't. I think he signed on reduced terms then. So mm-hmm. if he's happy to be here, I'm happy to have him here, kind of thing. If he wants to play football and he knows he'll get first team, and Pelopessi possibly in a League One place could be a vital because of how crunching he can go in for tackles. Do we know? Um, do we know allegedly why Chancery wants Pelopessi out? Uh, it's more it, apparently. I think it's cost thing, but I think he wants even cheaper players. If that makes sense, I don't. I, I don't feel like that'd be the case though, because surely, unless Pelopessi's actually on a big chunk. But what? Mm. Then again, the mismanagement sometimes. Have we put Pelopessi on a chunk? You yeah. Know, is he is he on something that's... And you've got to remember, we've also got Leo, Luongo to come back next season as well. Yeah. Who would be in that position? But it's surely if your if your new manager that you've just hired is going says I, I want, want him, you can you back him, don't you? Yeah, you don't want well, to start. Point? You don't want to start it straight away with going well, because it's because him. It's also not like it's also not like Moore's going. I want this player. We've got to sign this player. Play a transfer p- fee for him and yeah. do all of that. It's a case of yes, we might just have to stump up the wages. But if Moore's saying I want this player in my squad, then surely you keep him. Yeah, exactly. It's it's that weird myth management. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes. We, we've heard it all season. Yeah. So, ideally, with the whole Dan Moore, if he started to already plan for whatever season, I, you've got to take it as a positive because it's him going, right, I don't want to have it last game of the season, then I'm having to plan for League One. I want to have it that I start now. And possibly with him having... His illness, he's been able to look at other players and had that time to look at who he wants a bit more because he's not in the day-to-day running at the club itself because he can't d- actually physically go out and, you know, train with the lad. Mm-hmm. He can only sit on the sofa. And do, do you want Pelopessi to stay on? Yes. Why? What do you see in him? Because well, we see, know this, we've talked about this behind the scenes, but I know For what me, him, but For me, I see a player that's very good at breaking up the play. He's got a good path in him and... That partnership they got with Bannon is really starting to become something quite strong. And I think in League One, you look at how he built. He built very well for League One. And he's a good squad player. Like, whenever we needed him to step up this season, even though it's been the worst season for him, he stepped up. He speaks he's not, well as well. And yeah. he's not gone missing too much. Like, on times where we've had Liam Shaw, and Liam Shaw has been a bit rash because he's young, but then you put Pelopessi in that same kind of situation. He cools it down a bit. Yeah. But at the start of the season, we were all saying how Longo was the missing link, and then we lose him for half the season. So, he was genuinely a missing link. <laughs> the yeah. link was missing because he's been on the injury bloody room. Um, I think the one thing that's different, and what do you think I'm going to say here, the one thing that's changed about Pelopessi this season for me. Go on. He goes forward more. Mm. 
So instead of just being that passenger in the middle, because I have seen that sometimes, there's been times where I've watched him and I've got it. You might as well not be on the pitch in yeah. the past. And that's why I understand, right, why Wednesday fans have got that, that, that pre-sort of determined position on what Joey Pelopessi is. But this season... But do you think that's under more, more than no, anything? No, I don't. Or do you think that's your fun th- start of the season with Monk? I think Pelopessi this season has grown into a championship player that goes forward. He's not just that. He breaks up the play now, but he also drives... The whole play style, when we've been allowed to do it, especially under Moore, he brings the ball forward. He doesn't just take it and lay it off straight away. He will he will now look for an opening, and if he can move forward with it before he lays it off, he does it. He's brought that attack inside mm. to him. He's taken the ball-winning midfielder role and made it more box-to-box. Uh, so when you've got Bannon next to him, if Pelopessi gets stuck, he can get to Bannon next to him with flair and move it on. For yeah. me, I think keeping that central midfield partnership of Bannon and Pelopessi could be, a, especially if we go down, could be a key yeah. of build-up play. Up. You know? Because you oh. need that familiar, familiarity there. And it took Joey Pelopessi a while to get it, which is why he gets a lot of stick, right? Because it took him so long to adapt to the English game. But now he's got that familiarity with the team, with yeah. the players, with the English style of the game. The League One's more scrappy, don't get me wrong. He's, he's a good on-the-ball midfielder. And I think for the money, free, right? Okay, we've got to pay him a bit more in yeah. wages or maybe keep him on the same sort of contract. You can't look... Who else would you get for the same, for the, for the same sort of exactly. value? You wouldn't. And it, also the other thing, I think the other reason why some people don't like him, he's part of the Josh Lukai legacy. But he was a player that Josh Lukai brought in. Mm. So I wonder if there's some of that at it. Yeah, I could, I could see that. I could, I could see that being a thing. I could see it. I didn't like Joss. I thought he was one of the worst. It's probably the worst mistake we've made in a long time. Pulis doesn't even. Pulis was a, a right idea on paper, but an awful idea on practice. Yeah. Whereas Joss was just the like a what? But we trusted. That's the thing. We trusted Chancero with Joss because we we didn't know about Carlos before he came, no. and Carlos was we great. Th- we thought we thought with the he do, he done another pick out of something no one's heard, of, but he'll do well. Yeah. Yeah, I'd I'd give Pelopessi another year as long as it's not too Definitely. ludicrous. Um, I think he's got a good partnership there, and we're gonna put our tin hats on, tin hat warning, duck down because we're probably gonna get stick from this. But think about it: if you are on the side, if you are the ones that slated Chancery and you want Pelopessi to go, you're currently siding with Chancery. So look at it from that perspective yeah. right now. Uh, I'm gonna back the manager who I have seen more attacking intent from, and I'm more happy to see that. I don't think we should keep too many of the out-of-contract players. Is I've there got any to more say that. puns that you could put in there for more? No, no. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I've got... I don't, uh, I don't think we should keep too many of the out-of-contract players on. Don't no. get me wrong, but Pelopessi is one of them. 